Bet no one can guess what I've done. Give you a hint. Might have something to do with the fact that this room's completely full of boxes and that horribly tangled mess of fires. I've moved! Okay, that's really scary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this around for a bit rather than just having it on the tripod. Mostly because, well, it's way too dark in here, unfortunately. This is at night, so I'm having a bit of a lighting situation here. <laughs> Gimme! Hello, Wilson. Naturally, he decides to walk under the tripod. I think I would be about there height-wise. Yeah, that's probably about right. Maybe slightly taller. Is it? Sorry. You're going to have to get in this video. Hello, everybody. Um, hope I'm actually in view. Um, I'm not really going to be able to vlog a whole bunch this, for the rest of this month. As one can tell, I've moved. Um, this is my big beautiful house. I've already done a tour of this house. Uh, it was a 20 minute long tour back when there was nothing in it. There's stuff in here now. Um, still trying to situate things, organize things, stuff like that. I still have computers that aren't plugged in. Uh, turns out that I need three battery backups for this place rather than the two that I owned, which means I have another one on the way. Um, I have a battery backup for my cable modem, a battery backup for my file server plus router, and a battery backup for my gaming machine plus um, consoles. Mm, sorry. Um, rule of thumb, people, by the way. Um, my rule of thumb when it comes to any device is that I always have a battery backup for any device that could not function if the power was yanked suddenly. Um, an example of that would be a computer. It's not quite just that. The way I define it is devices with hard drives, basically. So if you have a desktop computer and you're not running an SSD, you should definitely have a battery backup on it. Always. I don't care what the power is like in your area, you should put a battery backup on it. Um, my PlayStation 2 has a hard drive. I have a battery backup on it. Uh, my Wii has a hard drive. Battery backup. 360. Battery backup. You get the idea. Um, in general, the reason why I say this is that um, what happens with hard drives, or modern file systems, is that there's some type of, um, sometimes it's called cache, sometimes it's called journaling. They are different things before somebody picks on me about it. I'm just giving a brief overview. Um, what happens is that rather than writing to your hard drive itself, it writes to this spot in memory, basically. Um, your computer remembers it and then slowly writes to your hard drive over time. That way, things are still responsive. Um, typically, there's some type of bit of data that's in flux. Um, that's one of the reasons why you should safely remove flash drives. It's because if it's not finished writing to the flash drive, bad things happen. And in the case of hard drives, or any device like that really, um, if the computer is not finished writing to it, it may leave the device in a state that's not, we'll go with good. Um, you can wipe out file systems by writing, by having an incomplete write to a hard drive. So, um, I'm not really able to say much else as one might be able to tell from me just pointing out one room of my house and, well, you can see the boxes behind me, that's my kitchen. I've only unpacked about 50% of my kitchen so far, which for those of you counting at home, my kitchen was 13 boxes. Yeah, this was my most expensive move ever. Good night, everyone. Enjoy. And remember to put battery backups on the hard drives. Um, this video won't be edited because my editing machine is the one that doesn't have a battery backup right now, and I'm not going to bother setting it up until I get that. Enjoy. Oh, and I'll put some links into the description for more information about battery backups.